Hi. That's a little bit of a peculiar angle today, because um, just to get the, right, the lighting right and to go into a little bit more detail about these quick release studs that I use for holding microphones. Um, I think what they're designed for really is for uh, sort of lighting and stuff like that, sort of umbrellas and different bits and pieces, but then again, um, obviously can be used for anything. I use it mainly in conjunction with a, a stand like that and you can see that the one end screws into your um, device that you're using like a microphone or a, a light and then you just drop that into there like that and then tighten it up. Obviously that uh, put up properly uh, holds the the light of the microphone for you. So that's basically what it is. Um, looking at it a little bit more detail, Manfrotto make them and I believe it's a Manfrotto 013 but they're usually made in brass. Okay to actually look at the stud, the main part of the bar there, the thickness is 5 8 the thicker, larger thread is a 3 8 16 TPI UNC and the smaller one is a quarter inch, um, don't know the teeth per inch on that one. Uh, the reason why I know that is I've just been um, making some little bits and pieces up, different fittings and obviously you need to, to do that yourself, you need a die like that and obviously the tool, this thing to hold it in. And um, it's a size that's not really sort of readily available in shops because um, in the UK it's all metric, you can't find imperial stuff anymore. So it's a 3 8 16 UNC die that you use. And um, it's not the easiest thing to do unless you know exactly what you're doing. I actually started off in engineering so um, I don't find it that much of a problem. Get yourself some bar, aluminium or whatever, in this case it's brass, and you can make yourself a thread like that. So that's something, a little bit of a work in progress there. So um, that's the, the thread on that side, and that's basically what I tend to use it for. Um, you see that that's the S-series white coat blimp and that's how it fits in into these different bits and pieces like that. And the reason why I've got too many of these adapters is obviously I've got different things and it's just nice to be able to plug the thing in and out um, as and when you need it so that just goes in there excuse me, and time it up like that and I can swap and change easy enough without too much fuss. Um, other bits and pieces you can get are little, these are little lighting brackets and um, I've actually got a cold shoe adapter on that, that's for a light but I actually use that on uh, it's actually connected to this at the moment that's how you might start wiggling around I've got a little clamp and um, that's ideal because obviously if you carry enough tripod you don't want to carry too much else around and you can plug that in, show you, clamp that onto whatever you want and um, just plug that in. A lot of these adapters they come with like a, let me just um, undo the retaining screw, they come with like a a plunger like that and that just locks it into place so you won't, see it won't go in until you push that in like that, and then it sits in but it's still loose so then you've got to tighten the whoop you've got to tighten that up like that and then that's all nice and secure and you can turn that around like that and I believe 
Um, there's quite a few people that manufacture these clamps. That's a Wex Pro, um, which I think they're about 15 pounds, um, something like that. But quite a bit of weighty, weighty bit of kit, but really nice, really nice sort of solid design. And once it's clamped up, you can actually get that out of the way. And if I show you, you can actually spin the handle round, so it's on on a spring there. So that's a nice little bit of kit. Um, but the main main point is is the um, these quick release spigots. Uh, as I said, the the only thing I can find about them, the only people that really make them, are Manfrotto, and they're classed as zero one threes. Uh, these I think the the Manfrotto ones, they like I say they they're made in brass, and they around about seven ninety nine. That's UK pounds. Uh, these worked out. I think they were. I got two for about the same price, and they do the job just as well. And you can see um, that way around. You just drop that in like that, and. You can either fit that straight in there, like that. So that's where your your different sort of configurations come in. Like that. Or <clears throat> back onto that one. Plug it into there and just do different bits and pieces. Like that. So the clamps on. The um, quick release stud adapter I was talking about. Very useful, very simple, and um, that's what they are. Okay, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.